What's up guys, I'm back with another video and it's time to take a look at Huawei and their challenge to Samsung and Motorola. As you guys know, both Samsung and Motorola are working on a vertical foldable phone. In fact, Motorola has announced their legendary Razer phone, which now folds officially. This is a new kind of foldable phone. We have seen the tablet slash phone hybrid from both Huawei and Samsung. Obviously, Galaxy Fold is in more markets, whereas the Mate X is currently in China. China only thanks to the ongoing war with the US. We have a good news about that that I'm going to be discussing later on but let's talk about who always answer to Samsung and Motorola. Out comes the new patent courtesy of Techie World. We have a phone that is rocking a full screen design, a quad camera setup on the back, and this phone can fold in half similar to the Galaxy W20 and the Motorola Razr. Now what's unique about Huawei's vertical foldable phone is that this phone is having a full screen display whereas the new Moto Razr has a chin and it's definitely not a full screen smartphone flagship design. Designed. So apparently Huawei is keeping that flagship look. Even Samsung device has a hole punch up front, but Huawei is going for that bezel-less look. Obviously, we don't know whether the camera is inside the display because Huawei is also working on a smartphone with under the screen camera. So either the front camera is under the display or there is no front camera on this phone. Since it's a foldable phone, you can actually use the back camera for taking selfies as well. So in the folded form, we have the secondary display display that is outside the phone which will be used for notification and checking some quick options and stuff and obviously taking the selfie. Although I personally think this is not a good solution. I mean imagine using Instagram and every single time you have to fold the phone in order to take the selfie. So I do think that there most likely be a front camera on the phone whether it will be a punch hole design or a notch we have yet to see. In my last video I talked about Huawei's success in China and overall how it is still going strong despite all the ban. Thanks to their success they're still working on some awesome stuff, awesome stuff that we want to see on the market. Now speaking of their rivalry with US, Huawei is set to get another 90 days of extension from the United States. It all first started back in May and ever since that we're seeing 90 days after 90 days after 90 days. It's still a good news for Huawei fans, I mean you're not going anywhere. According to Wilbur Ross, US department is still working on licenses that are likely to allow Huawei to resume their business with companies like Google and Microsoft. Hopefully we're going to hear some awesome good news and final good news regarding this whole situation. Now just like Samsung, Huawei wants to release more awesome mid-range level phones to the market and we have a new patent for a P-Smart 2020 smartphone. If you guys don't know, P-Smart series is a mid-range smartphone series from Huawei. So the upcoming P-Smart Z 2020 might actually rock rotatable dual front cameras. So we have this this full patent that goes into detail showing off the design. We actually have seen this from ASUS if I remember correctly. Basically there is no need for a front camera because the back cameras can be utilized as front cameras. I've seen something similar with the Galaxy A80 as well so Huawei is bringing the mid-range game to a good level for the year 2020. So that's all we have on the Huawei news currently. We have a brand new 90 day license. They're working on a foldable challenger to Samsung and Motorola. And we also have some big improvements coming to the mid-range Huawei phones. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below regarding Huawei and its future plans. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.